queen core is passed out on their couch. Okay, guys, all you guys need to go home so we can try for a baby. Welcome back to another episode of the royal family in the last episode of the royal family We had lady Corinne's family and Prince Louis the royal family of Willow Creek their family They all got to do a little pre-wedding dinner and kind of get to know each other a little bit better Because then we had the royal wedding of Willow Creek and it was amazing It was cut a little short because I accidentally went into creative mode But we at least got to see the ceremony and it was beautiful and the cathedral and everything was so so gorgeous and then and we also got to age up Prince Francisco of Voice of Spring, so he is now a young adult. So I'm filming this video directly after the last one, so any comments I have not seen yet, but hopefully I will be able to read your guys' comments before I film the next video. But in this episode, we are going to have our royal wedding of Oasis Springs. I think you guys are really going to love the decor and the outfits and just like how glamorous everything is because it's so gorgeous and I cannot wait to show you guys. Before we do that though, we are going to just Focus on the royal family of Willow Creek really quickly. There's just a few things I want to do But if you're excited for this episode give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications If you want to become a member on patreon for some additional perks and bonus videos and early access to videos Click on the patreon link in the description below. Don't forget. You can also follow me on Twitter I post my posting schedule on Twitter and update it accordingly So you guys can check that out there and my Twitter is in the description below as well and let's go ahead and play Play the royal family. Okay, so as I mentioned, we are first just focusing on a few things about the royal family of Willow Creek. First, very big I want to do is well, okay, well, first I do want Prince Jack to invite over his girlfriend Lady Arya just to hang out for a little bit and then I also want Princess Belle to invite over Prince Francisco, her boyfriend, to hang out a little bit too. So we're gonna have them invite them over and then I want Lady Corinne and Prince Louis to try for a baby and I'm so excited because I'm also going to have Queen Nea and Earl Philip try for a baby after their wedding as well. So we're gonna have them do that and I'm so, so excited you guys. Okay, so I'm pretty, I think this one is Prince Louis' room. So we're going to have them try for a baby and then I might after this wedding kind of just send them each on their honeymoon for like a day or so. So we're going to do that as well. And then it looks like Prince James Jack, so he invited over there she is this is lady Arya, his girlfriend so I'm going to have him embrace her and then princess Belle's boyfriend Prince Francisco who just turned into a young adult so we're going to have them hang out as well oh my gosh wait I do not remember picking out this dress for lady Arya. it's very very pretty I feel like it's something more so like someone in Zulani would wear she's she wears a lot of scandalous outfits it's something that I've noticed so I don't know why but she just tends to do that a lot so it's okay she's beautiful I love her a lot I love her like big hair it's so pretty it looks so good on her too she kind of just reminds me of like uh like a Cleopatra sort of so I'm very very excited for her and for Prince Jack hopefully for them to maybe get married they really like just started dating so i don't think they're gonna get married anytime soon but at least they can oh i break out the candles make room they are trying for a baby or they're woohooing for the first time yay okay oh well i don't know why i went to them but we'll let them do their thing so i have lady aria here we're gonna have them be enticing and then maybe you guys should like go sit down or something so Princess Belle and Prince Francisco you guys can go on over in there and then we can have Prince Jack and Lady Corinne they can go and hang out in here and then I do want to do a portrait for Queen Cora I just like it's so difficult to do these things, you guys, seriously. So I, I don't know. It's always kind of like, not a risk. What's the word? Like chance, by chance to get something good. Also, guys, I tried to, I'm gonna show you this real quick too. If any of you guys are familiar with the pose player and with that teleporting thing you need to do, I, oh, nope, not televisions. I want that teleporting thing. It's in miscellaneous decorations. So for those of you who don't know, for, to do poses, like mo mods and custom content, you need to have this thing, which is uh, a teleporter. And basically you're supposed to be able to click on it and you can teleport any sims to there so when you teleport the sims to there and then you can immediately have them go into their poses and they will like do the correct poses because they're all 
like in the same spot, I guess, something like that. You're like, you can summon Sims and stuff like that too. But you, it won't let me click on this thing. And I don't understand why. So if anyone has any idea why, please let me know. I have the updated version and everything. My, like this teleporting thing is not in its own folder or anything like that. So if you know, please let me know because I really want to do like a big family portrait of all of like the cousins, like the royal family of, of Willow Creek, Windenburg, and then Princess Anna's kids too. I want to do this big family portrait, but I can't because that thing doesn't work so if you guys know please please let me know so anyway yeah okay so I'm gonna have Prince or not princess I'm gonna have Queen Cora I'm gonna have her pose for this picture so King Edmund can do a portrait of her so usually for the portraits or lately for the portraits I've been going into pose by pack and I have this royalty and animations poses so this is what I've been using to kind of like create my uh, history of Windenburg video so it's kind of cool the only thing is they're like they're animations and they're not completely like poses so they kind of move around and don't really stay still which kind of stinks but I it's kind of like by chance I have to try a couple times before I get it right but like when she's looking at the side like that that's probably when I'm going to want to do like try to get a picture of her or try to get this portrait of her so we're gonna try to do this oh, I forgot also I need it to also change her outfit so she's wearing like her crown and all of that too so we'll have her go into her iconic dress and crown and so so pretty oh my gosh guys I think I got this on the first try <gasps> oh my gosh guys I did it I did it I got this on the first try okay her face looks like a little bit dark I don't think there's enough light in here but oh my gosh I have never gotten it on the first try usually they're looking away or their their eyes are closed or like something like that that is the first time I have ever had a sim like looking at you and also facing the camera it's amazing oh my gosh uh, I need to do this with you guys more often because that never never happens oh okay I just saw Prince Jack oh they're so cute you guys they went into the kitchen to try to get some privacy like away from Prince Jack's parents and then okay Prince Louis oh he's still in his pajamas so Lady Corinne you need to take a pregnancy test so we can see if you're pregnant I really hope she's pregnant you guys I'm so excited because this is going to be the heir to their throne so I'm so so excited okay let's see Lady Corinne are you yeah guys she's pregnant Yay! Lady Corinne is pregnant. Oh my god. And technically, is she Princess Corinne? I guess she... Is she Princess Corinne? Uh, you guys? I think so. Right, well, yeah, because Diana, Princess Diana, was Princess Diana because she married the heir to the throne. So, yeah. Okay, let's do rename, and then we're going to name her Princess... Corinne. I love that, guys. And Queen Corinne, too, has such a nice ring to it. I gotta change her last name to Willow Creek. So they are all set. Okay, so now she is Princess Corinne. Oh, whoop, I gotta oh, exit out of that. Um, of Willow Creek. And whenever you, you guys will probably see her name as like Cole, like Corey or something like that, if I ever have to shorten it. Oh, her sister, Lady Marjorie, congratulations on getting married. I hope you two are very happy together. Thank you. Uh, Prince Louis is just practicing his violin, I guess, but Lady Corinne or Princess Corinne. Oh, it's going to take a while for me to get used to that, but I need to have her. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think she's already telling him now. She's telling him the good news. Wait, why do they always look so concerned? He should seriously be so, so happy. Yeah, I think he is happy. Um, okay, and then she's going to have to tell her in-laws, too. So, this is... It's, it's okay. It's not, It's like the lighting is not the best, but I feel like it's fine. So, frame canvas. <gasps> Guys, now we have the portraits and everything. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, I'm going to have to figure out what to do with the parents' portraits. I think we can just like, I think I'm just gonna move it to the side over here for now. Okay, so I will definitely build a crypt for this castle because I'm not planning on replacing this one at all. And also guys, you guys need to tell me if you think I should replace the Winterbrook castle or not because not a lot of people have been commenting on that. So please let me know. But I, oh no, Lady Aria already left. Oh shoot, okay. Well, bye Lady Aria then I guess. And then, wait, is, is Prince Francisco also leaving? Um, no, but I don't see him here anymore. Did he leave? He might have left. I mean, it's his sister's wedding day because I'm going to have their wedding at night. So yeah, okay, that's fine then. I wanted to do just like a little bit with them, but that's fine. But now it is, but now Princess Kern is pregnant. So, it, well, okay, well, it looks like Queen Cora needs to go to work. I was going to have her tell Queen Cora that she's pregnant, but she can tell him later. It's okay. 
Queen Cora, though, you should probably get out of this pose right now because you're kind of stuck right now. Okay, she's all set. Where's our butler? Because they're seriously slacking. There is stuff everywhere here. There's food everywhere here from that dinner we had the other night, like the pre-wedding dinner. So there's just a lot of stuff going on, guys, but that's okay. It'll, well, well, it'll all work itself out. Okay, so guys, I am so, so excited for the wedding of Oasis Springs. I am going to just, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna see if there's anyone I need to catch you guys up on because I don't, because the way the light Lighting is for Oasis Springs like I, it needs to be at night for the wedding so I, I want to wait and I want you guys to see the whole thing like at night I don't want you guys to see it before that so we're gonna wait just a little bit before we do that oh here's something new okay so now I'm gonna call him Prince Philip but uh, right now he's Earl Philip so Earl Philip his mom because he moved into the Oasis Springs Palace so his mom is by herself so I don't I don't know guys I mean the, now the Earl title is going to be free and I'm going to save that for any of our royals who get married who like don't have a place to go like Prince Francisco and Princess Belle I don't think they're going to really have anywhere to go um, at least Prince Jack if he marries Lady Arya and if Lord or if if Earl Dean marries Princess Leilana then they can at least like like then the then Lady Arya will have that house, so so he has somewhere to go. Sorry, I'm just like trying to figure all this out in my head. Um, I think I'm actually going to just maybe move her closer to him because she's by herself. I don't know anyone that she would maybe get married to because she's an adult. Well, there's some young adult males, so maybe there's that. But um, I, I think I'm gonna have her. This is a very big house for just one person. I don't think she needs a house this big. But at least she would be closer. Maybe I should move her into this house here. Well, that's a big house and it looks like they need it. Oh, they got two, two babies. Oh, right. Okay, so I didn't tell you guys this, but Lady Kaylin of Windenburg, she married Lord Daniel. So it looks like they have two babies. So that's, that's something new. So I'm gonna have her move in here. And yeah, I think that'll be good for now. I'm not sure who she could marry because we have like... Let's see, who's single? Um, we have Lord Jasper, he's a young adult, and I'm pretty sure she's an adult, which is fine. I mean, that's okay if like their 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 ages are different, but and I I just I really think Lord Jasper is like way younger than her, like a lot, a lot. Um, so so I don't know. Oh, and it looks like here we have Lady Lorelei. She aged up into a teenager. Oh gosh. Oh, she's a gold digger, guys. Self-assured and romantic. Ooh, she looks like she might be trouble. Like, there's just this look in her eye. She looks a little bit like she's gonna be a lot in trouble. So anyway, that's interesting. Um, but we do know that Lord Benjamin and Lady Cara, they are pr they are the past, the former King Adrian's kids, but they don't know that. Only Duchess Blair knows that. So there's that. And then in Sulani, we have, I mean, no one really knew here in Sulani either. Makai's still single. His his brother aged up into a teenager and he's just as good looking as Makai is. Well, okay, well really quickly, why don't we go to the royal family of Windenburg so we can just do a little check up into them. So in the last episode, I forgot to mention too that, well, okay, so I had mentioned before that Prince Kellen was planning on breaking up or just taking a break from Princess Meghan. And then in the last episode, Princess Meghan actually ended up breaking up with him or just saying that she wanted to be on a break. So we'll, we don't know if they're gonna find each other. I think Prince Kellen just needs time to heal. I don't know if Princess Meghan's gonna find someone else or, I mean, she's still a teenager. She'll be turning into a young adult really, really soon. But yeah, we'll just have to see. Also guys, I did download the Machino stuff pack, but I didn't, apparently it didn't download before I was like filming this and I didn't feel like exiting out of The Sims and reloading it because that takes forever. And then it looks like Prince Charles and Princess Bellatrix, they have a good amount of time before they age up into children. So I think we still got a good amount of time for them. So I do know, and I mentioned this in the last episode, that Princess Amira has talked to Johan already and they I mean they're really good friends now um and they, they weren't that close before I don't think we're gonna have time to hang out with him before this wedding of Oasis well you know what let's just invite him over and see what happens okay so Prince Johan is coming over I think she's just inviting him over so they can like have this talk and and people have mentioned like in the comments and I completely agree how bad they feel for Amira and I feel bad for her too I feel bad for her and Johan because this is like the agreement 
and I feel like they think they're being forced into it. But I really feel like, and this is what I'm hoping too, is that they're, I mean, they already have gotten closer and I feel like it's just because time have, has passed and she's been home and they've been like mourning May together and they've kind of known like, they just really need to like work things out and they need to be a team. And it's definitely gonna be like a more of a friendship marriage. Um, but I think she just needs to talk to him so they can discuss like what to do exactly. Like what, like when exactly they wanna get married and, and or like how they should get married and all that stuff too. So that's really the point of her inviting him over. I don't think we're going to have that much time though. Oh, okay, he came through the back. Um, I don't think we're gonna have that much time because I do, oh, that's Prince Kellen. Wait, what the heck? Where's Prince Johan? But I don't think we have that much time before I have to start the wedding of Oasis Springs, but that is okay. So, okay, well, if he doesn't come here soon, then we can't talk to him, but We'll just pretend that she did. I don't know where he is, guys. He's supposed to be here. Okay, if he's not here by five, I, I definitely need to start the wedding of Oasis Springs by then. Okay then. Well, let's just say that she did have, oh wait, there he is. Oh my gosh, you literally like, it's already five, but okay, whatever. Um, so they're just going to kind of have a chat a little bit um, and then she can, talk to him and let's let's do let's do a deep conversation because that is definitely going to be a deep conversation who is calling queen Nea? oh queen Nea, it's it's your wedding day yay i'm so excited so she's just having a deep conversation oh okay well they did that salvadorado 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 they did that greeting um so they're definitely friends guys which is good so they're just having the talk um, they are both not feeling sad anymore, which is good. Obviously, they're still sad, but they're not super, super depressed. I think Johan also needs to tell her, oh, their friendship just went down though. Are they arguing about something? I hope not. Let's just do more deep conversations. So yeah, they have really high friendship. I'm probably gonna have to use a cheat or something to make them get married because I don't want it to show them having a high romance level. And obviously you need a high romantic level to actually have them get married. So it'll probably end up being something small. So yeah, you guys can let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave this here for now, but yeah. So that's their conversation. I think they, I mean, they, they're both very like they know the rules and Princess Amira was never really a rule follower before but I mean she believes in in curses and stuff too because she believes that curse of what what one of the viewers said about how they're like how every other t or how sometimes when a baby is born in Windenburg, like a royal baby of Windenburg, then someone dies, which is definitely a huge curse. That would be a huge thing. So yeah, I think she's just very superstitious. So she wants to follow through with this. I think it's just going to be like a friendship sort of thing. And who knows, maybe they'll end up like liking each other a little bit more. So we'll just have to see about that. But now we're gonna go to the Royal Family of Voices Springs and I'm gonna have her do the wedding and everything. So I'm so excited for you guys to see this. Okay, so we are at the Palace of Voices Springs and it is officially nighttime. So I have just made sure that Nea like knows all the people she's supposed to, like all the royals. So hopefully I didn't miss anyone, but I'm going to have her start inviting people for the wedding and then we're going to start and I'm so, so excited. Okay, so we are actually, cause I mentioned before that we might have it at the temple that I got. I actually set it all up at the Palace of Oasis Spring. So in the future we can have it at the temple, but I think for now we're going to do it here and I'm so excited. Okay, there are a lot of people in the way, but guys, I'm so excited. Look at this. Look at this. There's, I'm sorry, please just ignore the people that were walking through, but oh my gosh, guys, I love this. Okay, so we do technically have a wedding arch but that's not really a tradition for a wedding. So it's actually technically they would have a stage with like decorally like colors and like a throne chair and stuff too. So that's kind of what I did. Um, unfortunately, we can't have a stage, but this is the closest thing I could do for it. But we're going, wait, whoa, whoa wait, get married. We need to get married. What? 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 Hold on. What is this? Oh, Queen Neo was like away somewhere and I don't know where. So Earl Philip is going wait why can't you you can't get married to your fiance okay there we go get married to queen Nea, you guys oh my god okay we'll have to see how this works because i had to make the arch a lot bigger i know this is from sulani but i have a different arch in mind for sulani oh my god wait i'm missing this queen Nea is walking down technically this is the aisle but it's a lot different and i'm so excited oh she just oh she just sneezed she's sick okay guys i'm so good oh this is perfect oh it actually worked under the lighting and everything oh my gosh 
guys. Oh, look how beautiful. I know, too. I think I originally had them wearing or had a... Uh, oh, my God. Wait, hold on. Oh, no. I'm going to be quiet while I watch this. This is so cute. Oh, okay. The outfits don't match as much as I thought. And I wish that I had downloaded a little bit more custom content. So, like, for, for Earl Phillips' outfit. I think this is fine. I know it isn't completely matched, so sorry about that. Hopefully we can just ignore that, but oh my gosh, it's still, still so, so cute. And they're getting married now, guys! They're getting married! Oh my gosh, this is, it's just, it's so beautiful. People are dancing, people are watching, they're all dancing as they're watching. And then we have, if you can see on the right, we have Princess Megan's outfit that I changed, so I got something new for her for this. They're perfect, they're amazing, look how beautiful they are! I'm so excited for this. Uh, oh gosh, okay, well, sorry, Queen Nea, you are definitely sneezing on your wedding day, so that's not a good thing. Um, but we're already at a gold medal for our wedding, and oh my god, okay, I'm gonna have, yep, I'm gonna have both of them sit, so we're just gonna have you guys sit here and be really close and maybe, like, cuddle next to each other too, although her dress is totally clipping, but that is totally okay. Guys, look at that! Oh, okay, well, something's glitching, like, her arm is definitely going through his shirt. And that is okay, guys. They look so, so cute. It looks like Princess Corinne is a little bit too far in their uh, personal space. What is with her arms, too? I think this dress is just glitching out a little bit for her, but that is okay. Um, wait, they both had their very first kiss. Okay, well, that's not true. They've definitely had their first kiss before, so just ignore that. Um, but yeah, Lady Kurt is pregnant now. She's showing a bump. And then we have, oh, guys, we have, oh, this is Queen, or, uh, well, Queen, the Queen Mother. Queen Lindsay, Queen Cora, and King Jared, and Prince James, and then Prince Francisco is here, too, guys. They're all seated at a table together. And then we have, oh, guys, we just have a lot of people and I'm really, really excited for this because this is so, so great. We have Princess Leilani here. I just kind of need them to talk to everyone. Who is this? Oh, Lady Christina Brindleton. I am going to have Lady Helena talk to her because it's a noble. I feel like it's someone that she can kind of, like, feels like she can talk to a little bit more too. So we'll have her talk to them. And then I'm going to have, just make sure everyone like knows each other and introduces themselves to each other. Okay guys, so this was kind of what I was worried about before was that as soon as it turns into morning, um, the whole palace gets dark because this is technically an outdoor palace. So I, oh, whoa, well, guys, sorry. Um, but I apologize that it's just kind of like really, really dark. So that's okay though. Um, and then Queen Ava, she's in her, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous purple dress. Oh, and then Lorda J, is they, they're letting him like sit on the couch here too. So, oh God. Oh, you know what? I should probably have Earl Philip get to know Lord of J a little bit more because this is technically his nephew. Also, and someone had pointed this out to me in the comments too, I did lower Prince Michael and Lady Helena's reputation. I changed it to bad because of the whole scandal with Lord of J being pregnant and they were teenagers and it all happened out of wedlock. So their reputations are bad. I'm probably going to change Lord of J's reputation to bad too when he becomes a, I think a child or a teenager. Oh guys, oh my God, wait, King Adrian's here. Oh, wait, does Earl Philip know? Yes, he does. He knows King Adrian very, very well. Oh my gosh, guys, King Adrian's here. Well, I mean, okay, the ghost of King Adrian is here, but he came, he came to visit for Nea's wedding. That makes me so sad, you guys. It's so sad. Oh, okay, this is a Princess Belle. This is one of her newer outfits. I'm actually going to have Prince Francisco talk to her a little bit more bright and day, and maybe they can get a little bit more romantic too, because they're still pretty newly dating. I don't think Prince Francisco's ready to propose to her yet, so we're gonna wait a little bit for them. Um, and then we have Princess Amira, who is still wearing black, guys. She's still in mourning, so that's definitely a big, big thing. Um, and then I, ooh, guys, I do want them to try for a baby. Um, they are super, super cute, though. People are just, like, walking through them. Oh, and then Lindsay's giving her a hug. And she's saying, like, congratulations. You guys can see, too, I put henna on Queen Nea's hands. But she's got henna on both of her hands, too. But, oh, my gosh, guys, they are so, so cute. Oh, my gosh, just look at these, like, queens. Just, like, all of the queens together, you guys. They're all wearing, the, they're all different dresses, but they're basically the same version of the dresses. 
And then we have, oh, Nea too. Oh my gosh, I should just get a picture of like all queens and then maybe like all kings. That would be cool. Oh, I gotta see what exactly the Moshino pack lets you do and see if I'm able to do that from that. Um, but it looks like everyone's helping themselves to food, which is good. So this is nice actually having more of like a reception. It is very dark, so I apologize for that. Even if you like turn on all the lights, it's still like that. Okay, so Prince Francisco, you need to be talking to Princess Belle a little bit more. Oh my gosh, King Henry is dancing a lot. So it looks like he's having a lot of fun. So that's, that's definitely a good thing. Guys, Lady Grimm's pregnant. I'm so excited to see if it's a boy or a girl. Same with Naya. I am going to name Naya's first daughter Arya because that is her grandmother's name. I know it's already uh, Prince Jack's girlfriend's name, but we're gonna have another Lady Arya because Prince Jack's girlfriend was also named after Queen Arya. But I think she would definitely name her grandmother after Arya too. And it's just a beautiful name. It's like one of my favorite names ever. I like a lot of A names. Like there's just a lot of A names, like Amira, um, Arya. Those are just really, really pretty names. So I like those a lot. So yeah, guys. Okay, so I do want them to try for a baby. I know we still have our wedding going on. It's almost over. So I think they've gotten a good amount of time here. Did you guys get to see like enough of this reception area? It's not as pretty in the like, not like semi, semi dark, um, but it's still very pretty. So I'm just, I'm very happy with how this turned out. Oh, and then this is Earl or now Prince Philip. I need actually, I need to change his name to Prince Philip. It's nice that I can just do it from here with this cheat. So rename going to name him. So for anyone who doesn't know, his name is Prince Philip because Queen Nea is the actual ruler. Oh, not Princess Philip. I'm sorry. Prince Philip. I was not thinking. So yeah, so we have Prince Philip. So he's not technically a king. I don't know why the husband of the queen is not called a king. They're just called a prince. So yeah, anyway, in case you were wondering. So I think I am going to end this wedding. People are kind of wrapping up. It is 9 a.m. the next morning. Looks like Johan is here too. So I should probably, he looks like he was really hungry. Even though there's food right there, right there so that should have been fine. Oh gosh, Queen Nea. Oh, she's crying about her dad, you guys. Oh, I know his ghost was just here, but obviously he wasn't really here, like really actually here. I feel like she was really close to her dad because I, she's the oldest and she learned a lot from him, like how to be a ruler and all that stuff too. So she's very, very close to them. I feel like she didn't even really need that much help from Lindsay. So she already learned a lot from him because he was like training her and all this stuff too. So she was really close. The other kids, I don't think they were as close to Adrian. Okay, so I'm going to end the wedding now and then, oh my God, Cora. Queen Cora is passed out on their couch. <laughs> okay guys, all you guys need to go home so we can try for a baby. Okay, so they're trying for a baby. Looks like Princess Megan and uh, all of our other family, they're all here kind of gathered. Oh, this broke. They definitely partied too hard and played way too much music. So that broke. Honestly guys, Lady Helena's a very good mother. Every time I like look at her, I feel like she's like with Lorda J taking care of him. Adoption notice. Oh, okay. I didn't realize we get adoption notices. Um, but yeah, every time I look at her, she's like playing with Lorda J and like teaching him stuff. So she's honestly a very good mother. I think Queen Lindsay is definitely like a nightmare mother-in-law for her though. So I just honestly props to her for being able to <laughs> deal with her. But I feel like Hopefully, or yeah, uh, Lindsay, Queen Mother Lindsay, Mother Queen Lindsay. Um, hopefully, she realizes that Lady Helena is a good mother because I feel like she wants to maybe take Lorda J from her. So I don't know, guys. I feel like Queen Lindsay would definitely be the type of person to do that. So okay, so they just woohooed for the first time, and then I'm going to have Queen Nea take a pregnancy test. Okay, guys, yeah, okay, she's pregnant and she's happy, and we're happy. So yay, guys, I'm so excited. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna end this episode here. In the next episode, not 100% sure what we're gonna do yet. We definitely need to figure out some of the like proposals and who's getting married to who. So we'll probably try to figure out Princess Amira and Prince Johan's sort of wedding ceremony ceremony arranged marriage thing in the next video so we can do that in the next episode but i hope you guys enjoy this if you did if you loved it give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss another episode i definitely can comment more for those who are the first to comment on my videos so definitely put on your notifications so you can see when i first post the video and i will see you guys in the next episode bye